Hello, my name is George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the brand new plugin, M Backdrop. M Backdrop comes with 70 different, fully customizable backdrops, and I'd like to show you a few right now. Let's go. Ha, check this out. What if you wanted to get some hearts from social media? Maybe some likes? We got a backdrop for that. What if you wanna do a text presentation? Like all these bits of text that I've put in here. You could do that too. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> I don't even know what you could use it for, but I'm sure you can figure it out once you purchase it from motionvfx.com. Anyway, all right, what else can you do? Hmm, this is interesting. What if you're a tech vlogger, a tech YouTuber, you wanna talk about a technical video game? I don't know, like I said, you figure it out once you get it from motionvfx.com. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. I'll quit yapping. Here we go. M Backdrop is located in your titles browser under M Backdrop. M Backdrop comes with 18 abstract backdrops, 11 futuristic backdrops, 11 gradient backdrops, and 30 simple backdrops. To apply M Backdrop, simply click and drag into your timeline. M backdrop will come in as a title layer. Each backdrop title comes with its own unique set of parameters. For instance, in backdrop number 70, we have our animations in and out, our frame, along with on screen controls. our content on and off, where we're able to change our icon type, along with our colors, particle distributions, life, randomness, speed, etc. So why don't we add some text on top? In this tutorial, we are also going to be using MTuber2 alongside for our text. And you can see how quickly and easily we were able to add this fun background to introduce our call to action at the end of our video. Now, of course, you can also use keyed footage. If we hop over to our other timeline, you can see our introduction. We brought in some keyed footage and scaled appropriately to match our backdrop number 54. In our parameters, we made some changes to our bar, width, and height, as well as our roundness. We utilized our text from MTuber, and we had this opening dynamic scene. Our next scene, we used the M Backdrop 70 that we just discussed, along with fading into M Backdrop 69. Pushing forward, we are utilizing M Backdrop 13, and with these, because we are doing those jump cuts, we have disabled our animation in and out. Backdrop 9 is a ton of fun, and it is including our animations, frames, and our content animation, prism, distortion, fisheye, etc. And the final that we used was M backdrop number 27 below our keyed footage. M backdrop 27 is pre animated, and you can make quick changes to where your animation will end up landing without the use of keyframes. There are so many fun and unique ways to utilize M Backdrop, and I can't wait to see what you can come up with. M Backdrop is now available from motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.